shabun nasha fi ta'atillah now the other category of people that are really going to enjoy the shade of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the last day of judgment these are youths that were raised in the act or maybe they were raised in the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are the kind of people that are really nice i know maybe if you've ever experienced this these are the same people that are really good when you relate with them when you speak to them they are really good when you come to the interpersonal relationships with them and maybe the reason as to why they are that it's because they were given a chance to be raised in the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they do whatever they are doing they act in any way they are to act in because they know that they are having their creator who is watching them now i believe many of us were not raised in that way maybe we were not raised with that humble background islamically but then that alone shouldn't be a factor for you to consider not being someone good actually the point here is we are supposed to have this developmental factor when it comes with the consistency in our servitude to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our youthful stage i know you know that we are tested in many times this is the stage where you come to realize or maybe to think that you still have many years on board this is the stage where you experience your highest levels of being energetic and so on and so forth it's like you have a lot of things factors in abundance and at times that brings us to a level of being bad people that brings us to a level of not actually behaving in a real way or maybe of not actually behaving like we are going to be questioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but then islam comes out to give us this discipline if you are a youth out there please always remember you still have a chance to practice your islam stick on to the fundamentals of islam in your youthful stage just because you're this energetic youth it doesn't mean that you're supposed to oppress others just because you have some time some lots of money as a youth it doesn't mean that you invest that money into disobeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but you can actually use your youthful stage into obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that alone is actually going to make you qualify to be under the shades of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guess what what you do in your youthful stage what you get used while in your youthful youthful stage it's actually the same story you're going to live as you grow old so basically islam guides us and it's like if you really want to be a perfect muslim a perfect elderly someone with that good personality as you grow old you really have to be guided in your youthful stage yeah and if i told you you're not being someone good in your youthful stage no doubt you're going to be uh, someone really bad you're not going to be someone inspiring you're not going to be someone worth worth giving a listening ear to if you attain your elderly ages may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that understanding may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all youths out there into being allah conscious and actually having this developmental factor of being consistent when it comes to our being servitude to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh